shortly after the Big Bang, the fundamental forces of the universe split up as the universe cooled down, symmetry breaking, yeah. How did this happen? And if we can achieve the temperatures at which this symmetry breaking happened, can we unify the fundamental force again? Excellent question. So the best theory that we have as of today that describes the evolution of the universe is the Big Bang theory, like you said. Now this theory is basically describes, it attempts to reconstruct the history of the universe. What happened? At what time? It doesn't tell us how it happened. It tells, it tries to tell us, it tries to reconstruct what happened. What were the different phases in the evolution of the universe? But it doesn't try to reconstruct how it happened, why it happened. So we don't know why the four fundamental forces split up, what made this happen, what caused the Big Bang. We don't know. We, we as of today, we don't know any about anything about this. But I can tell you about the uh, about the very early universe, which is a very interesting uh, epoch in the evolution of our of our history, so to say. So first of all, in the very very early universe, right after the Big Bang, you had something called the Planck epoch. So the Planck epoch is basically the age the history of the universe at a time shorter than 10 raised to minus 43 seconds. So after the Big Bang, before 10 raised to minus 43 seconds have elapsed, that is called the Planck epoch. So during the Planck epoch, it is believed that all four fundamental forces, which is electromagnetism, the strong nuclear force, the weak nuclear force, and gravitation, these four fundamental forces, they were all combined together into one single fundamental force. So this is the Planck epoch when the universe was at nearly the Planck temperature, which is 10 raised to 32 Kelvin, which is an unimaginable temperature, right? So this was a very short epoch, up to 10 raised to minus 43 seconds in the life of the universe, when all four forces were combined into one. Then you have the so-called grand unification epoch in which gravity decouples. So gravity has de decoupled from the four forces and only three forces remain together, which is in, in a single combined force called the electronuclear force. So this grand unification epoch is between 10 raised to minus 43 seconds and 10 raised to minus 36, 36 seconds after the Big Bang. It is that small window of time. So three forces are together, one has decoupled. You have the electronuclear force. The grand unification temperature is higher than 10 raised to 27 Kelvin. Okay. To, come, to get an idea of that, the temperature of the sun, surface of the sun, is about 5,800 Kelvin. And the temperature of the core of the sun is about 15, 16 million Kelvin, which is 16 times 10 raised to 6 Kelvin. And the temperature of a supernova is of the order of 10 raised to 11 Kelvin. So the grand unification temperature is of the order. It is greater than, it was greater than 10 raised to 27 Kelvin. So 16 orders of magnitude higher than the, hotter than the temperature of a supernova. So that's the kind of conditions we had in the universe when the three forces were together. Gravity had already decoupled. So... We don't know how it happened. We don't know how the symmetry breaking happened, how the forces decoupled, etc. as the universe cooled down. But it is believed that we can achieve, if we can actually achieve those temperatures, then we can unify the fundamental forces again. Now, it is not physically possible because the highest temperature we can achieve on Earth in the lab is nothing compared to 10 raised to 27 Kelvin or even the Planck temperature 10 raised to 32 Kelvin. The temperature of a supernova is 16 orders of magnitude lower than the grand unification temperature. Our best bet is theoretical physics. Theoretical physics will be is what is hopefully going to help us understand these forces more and hopefully help us uh, construct a theory or, or discover the so-called theory of everything in which we have a single equation that describes all four forces. So, so yeah, that, that's the answer. We, it is not possible to, uh, to have these temperatures in, the, in a lab. It is beyond, beyond the wildest dreams in the re realm of possibility. All we can do is uh, we can use our intellect and theoretical physics to try and reconstruct the, the fundamental force, which 
unified all four forces from which every other force was born. So that is what we hope. Hopefully it will happen someday in the future.